Hello, YouTube. What is up? We are back with some Ring of Pain. And today, we are going to be trying the barehanded build. And so what does that mean? We're going to go in here. And we are not going to be using any weapons or uh, shields. So let's see how this uh, how this pans out. We got a chest plate right off the rip, which is awesome. That gives us all the defense we need for this first room. Um, I don't really want either of those, and we can't use either of those. <laughs> so we'll just uh, drain the rest of our souls to get some attack points here. We crit them. That was nice. Only 11% chance. Solid. Grab a defense. And we'll kill this guy because we can heal up. Good start. Awesome. All right. So um, I originally had planned for this to be a, um, like, no weapon build. But then I was like, well, I mean, is no weapon really all that difficult? Because no weapon is literally just better or easier than spoon, <laughs> right? So we're going to take it a step further, and we're going to go no weapon and no shield. Um, the big things that I'm missing out on, like the big item, big ticket, late game items I'm missing out on, we've got no Screamer. Uh, we've got no Glacier, no Parrying Shield. Um, Screamer is really the big one. Excuse me. But uh, I think we can do it. I think we can. Uh, I think we can make it out. This chest plate is awesome. I might. I might keep this for a while. We don't need the reprieve, so we are going to go for this ambush. It is single candle, so I'm pretty confident in our ability to yeah, get through this early ambush, especially with the stats that we have. Uh, heavy boots right now are actually pretty solid because we didn't really have much def or, uh, not defense um, speed as it was. Um, yeah, we'll take that two damage. And we'll move. Nice. That was relatively efficient, I think. Keep beefing up this defense here. <laughs> chaotic underwear, no thanks. Chaotic underwear and chaotic healing. Do we need a chaotic build? Uh, we're going to roll one more time because we can do it without uh, missing out on a blue chest that we may find soon here. Wow, we're uh, our defense is like maximum overdrive right now. We don't want any of those. We got a we got a blue coming. We got a we got enough for a blue chest. So we're gonna save up for that four shizzle. Um, I think we're just yeah we're gonna invest in the defense right now. Being like ultra tanky is super nice. I assume no, he's going for this door. I didn't even see that door. So we have no attack now. We're gonna chill on the uh, we're gonna chill on the compromise. Um, these stat increases for a while because we need to build up our attack a bit we've got really reliable defense right now which is awesome um we should actually probably build a little bit of hp as well um because if you played any games in the past that have any stats comparable to these like you know where you're trying to balance attack and hp and defense um a mixture typically a mixture of defense and hp is what really makes your character tanky um as opposed to just building straight defense because straight defense is good but it doesn't give you the same it doesn't make you as thick all right we're gonna cross heal this way this way don't go yet yes all right i was worried about the scrounger very nice all right get the attack up uh, get the attack up again. Aw, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to use this. Alright. Can't take the extractor. Uh, there's free blue over there, so we'll definitely grab that. Grab an HP on that one. Definitely kill him. Heal up. Uh, take the blue. I really want a better blue than these. Uh, Soul Glass isn't bad, actually. Especially with low clarity right now, that could be actually a potential late game item if we uh, if we just want to like not worry about clarity and just dump into attack and defense. Uh, so we're gonna attack here, heal up, 
Uh, we have a chugging mass, so we're going to get this 1 HP, use the 1 HP for a defense, grab this ice, and out we go. That was nice. i got to turn off the space heater. Man, it's cooking me. There we go. All right. Okay, so the, what does this give us? It gives us soul gain, right? Soul gain instead. Hmm. Well, we might as well not use this like when we're full health. That doesn't make much sense, right? Is this an amalgam? Yes. Ooh. Go back. Go forward. And go again. Just let them kill themselves. Yep, that worked out. Now we can afford a purple. That's actually pretty solid. Come. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to take Mimic Friend. Because the speed was doing nothing on that. We were losing 1 HP. I think that's just kind of a no-brainer, right? Detonate would be nice. Is it better than Freeze? Uh, I don't want it right now. Oh, shoot. We should have hit the... I always forget about stuff like this. So we got Companions, Careful Maneuver, Instability. 100%. 100%. Wow, look at all this loot. Oh, right, because we're bringing it to the front again. So I believe, unless he's immune... Let's check this out. So now he'll never stop. So if you want to go into one of these rooms, but you're kind of nervous about, uh, ooh, do we save the Ascension for like the super late game? Hmm. And just build HP. We have to pick one of these. This just hurts our defense a little bit, but it gives us a lot of HP. Hmm. Actually, this is probably the better choice, right? Maybe we'll go into Ascension later. I feel like Ascension is best picked up when you have some time. Uh, he's going to get stuck on the um, on this blocker over here, so we don't have to worry about the Scrounger. We're going to get him no matter what. Um, Intimidate is just a better version of... Or uh, Ber Berserker is just a better version of Ferocity, right? We're kind of trading out some defense for our HP here, but that's fine because there's some more. Or uh, not our HP, but our attack. We could really go for a, um, what is it, living helmet? Let's take another HP there, heal up, um, heal up again. We're sacrificing some some serious HP here with our with this poison that we're taking, but that's all right because we got this cure, so that's kind of working out for us. Uh, okay. We parried, which is awesome. We parried twice. Okay, so that was the last enemy I was really concerned with, but it made it work. Uh, I didn't want to frig. Oh, we can go this way. There we go. All right. I was just thinking through all that there. There was a lot going on. We'll pick this up. Do we pick up the blue? I think we save for another purple. Um, and he's not really worth attacking, I don't think, because... If we attack, 40% chance for three. Hmm. How much is he worth? 33. That's a pretty good amount. He's going to do... He has an opportunity to do five damage this turn. We could negate three of that. It's going to take us, what, 37. So five attacks. All right, so we heal up. Oh, do we get double healing from that because of this? Where is it? Because of this? That's nice. Alright, we parried two of his attacks. So that, this is totally worth now. Cool. Now we almost have enough for another gold item. That actually worked out pretty well. Ritual garment. Uh, our breastplate is definitely worth more right now. So we're going to move towards this guy. Blow him all up. The only reason that we're attacking those fire beads head on is because we have this breastplate. 
Uh, so we take half damage from all of those explosions. We'll definitely attack him. Heal up. So now that we know that this is doubled, the healing there is doubled, we want to be using this as often as possible to get that, uh, to get the cooldown. We already have legs. We can't use Glacier, so we'll just heal up. Lava Lamp's going hard. Um, I don't want to take poison damage. <laughs> That's for sure. We'll take the Hex. And it's another gold. And that kind of sucks. Looking for some items that aren't buns. Our build is like coming on really, really slow right now, but we're pretty strong because of all those stats that we picked up in the early game. It's so easy to just dump speed as a stat that you can really use that to your advantage, you know. You kind of manage your clarity, manage your HP, dump into heavy attack and defense stats, and just don't even worry about speed. Um, if you look at it from a logical kind of perspective, it's, I mean, it's the least effective stat, right? I mean, if you have defense, it doesn't matter if you can attack first. If you have defense, it doesn't really matter if you dodge or stealth. So, I mean, de defense does exactly what dodge and stealth do, just better, really. I mean, I guess you take no damage if you dodge or stealth, but it's so difficult to build those up, and the items that have those... Um, I think we have something that has that chance on it, right? No, we don't even... Exactly. I mean, the, the items that have dodge and stealth attached to them just aren't really that great. Hmm... I mean, we might as well grab Chrysalis Heart, right? Because I feel like we haven't even used this Soul Glass. Um, ah, man, I don't know. Rebirth, one time Resurrect. Yeah, I don't know. We'll take the we'll take the Chrysalis for now. We definitely want to start getting our defense up. We're kind of we're kind of late in the stats right now. We can't take that. That is all right. Trying to sacrifice. We might be able to make that work. Uh, we're going to use this right off the bat so that we can get it um, charged up. Okay. Attack him. Push through here, attack him, heal. We intimidated, which is really nice. We got hit the second time, but that's fine. Uh, we want to heal, so we're going to... Oh, we crit him. On a 5% chance, we crit him. All right, and that's everything in the room. We could take this for a health. Or an attack, actually. Hmm. Shrine of Sacrifice, we're not going to take anymore because we're kind of low on HP. Well, I mean, now no, no, we're not low, but I don't think I want this. You know what? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. 25 attack at level 8 is enormous. Uh, we're going to go Overwhelm because I think, I think the enemies in this room are worth more than Volatile. Um, we'll reroll this. Can't take Transformer. Neither of those are really all that great. Alright, I will take Merchant. Sacrifice 2 HP, but now everything's stupid cheap. And actually, this might be where we use Transcendence as well. You need to die. You're good. Ah, sugar. Hmm. That's fine. We just move through this. We take a little bit of poison damage. Uh, we can attack once and then heal up. So that was a pretty... I mean, we lost. It wasn't the most efficient way we could have handled that, but... Ooh. Alright, we're going to hex him. Take the Transcendy. Oh, gosh. I was really hoping this wasn't another poison enemy. 
But we can actually move through this, attack, heal up. Um, what's giving us? This is giving us double heals, right? Oh my gosh, with these freaking poisonous enemies. Um, do we use the transcendence? We are kind of relying on our items right now, right? And we have a kind of a buns build. I think we, mm, we either transcend this now or we don't. Oh god. Um. I wanted the HP there. We take two for passing him, three for passing on that side, so we're going to take the two and get out of here. I think we should be okay. Even with the Transcendence, I think we're good. Move towards this. Ooh. Well, it really doesn't matter what we do here. We're going to take the poison damage, but we'll heal that up. Uh, we'll definitely take this for... We're gonna take some. Uh, we're gonna take some clarity now. Get that defense back up. Take this guy out. Crossroads. That's nice. We need some more souls for that, which we should be able to earn. Yeah, there's seven right there. We only need two more. We're gonna kill him because it takes out the bane fang. Gives us the souls we need. See what we get here. Living helmet. That's exactly what we need right now. Uh, crossroads is definitely where we're gonna go. Hopefully, another ambush. It's a little risky because we could get a. Ah, there's nothing, anyways. This will take overwhelm again. I was gonna say uh, ambush would be a little risky just because we can't guarantee what uh, what monsters are in there. So chances are we would run into. A uh, poison enemy, but I don't know if it really matters all that much. We're going to, I think we're going to try and, yeah, we're going to take him out. We wanted to get this potion as close to us as soon as possible um, because we want to, oh my gosh. We want to get out of this mess of freaking poisonous enemies. We're going to get rid of that. Ah, oh, you jerk. And these guys aren't worth enough, I think, to, to justify the amount of health. I mean, we could do this, and we'll actually be able to earn it back. Um... Oh my gosh, I just, I took an extra poison damage there. That was really annoying. But actually, I d actually I didn't think about that. We have, um, ooh, light collar. We have our living helmet now, so we don't have to be scared of them anymore. It basically nullifies everything that they do. Ooh. Oh gosh. Okay, so we have to take damage here, right? That kind of sucked. Okay. Slap some HP on there. Oh... Gosh. Uh, is that... I can't tell if it's cursed. We're going to exit. We're going to exit because we're getting, we're getting dangerously low on HP right there. Oh, God. This is not good. Okay. 
All right, we're we're making it. <laughs> we're making it work. Uh, after spell use, gain ten defense for one turn. That's actually pretty good with this plague. I think we're gonna pick that up, at least for now. Um. We're not going to take the Soul Hourglass. We will take the Generosity, though. And we're simply just not taking the Soul Hourglass out of uh, not making this run doo-doo. <laughs> it's making it pointless, right? All right, we'll take the Frostbite. Ah, man. Burial Grounds, Ambush. Probably Ambush. We don't have enough souls for that other purple chest, so we can earn probably a gold item here. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Uh, not super effective use of our health, but it's something. Um, we're actually going to take Collector's Disguise this time. Uh, in Dark Pact, we're going to leave behind because Light Caller is giving us a lot more value right now. Where are our health potions at? We got a scrounger over there. Whoa. Oh my gosh. We need to get to the, to the scrounger ASAP because we need his potion. We need to take this boy out. Take that potion, take this gold. All right, now we're feeling a little bit better. Uh, one third extra defense is pretty solid, but Thunderstep is also very good. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna take the, I think I'm gonna take the defense here. Oh, and we can get Thunderstep, duh. I forgot we had Generosity. Generosity is freaking busted. Um, we took the, stacked plate originally uh because i want all that hp because i'm really feeling kind of good about potentially running into a um a what item ah ascension boots we have thunderclap now or th thunder step so i don't know if we'll actually need it but it's kind of nice to have in our back pocket in case, uh, like, having all this health is, is definitely beneficial. What do we have that's hurting him? Just... Okay. You can eat him. Have fun. Oh, he didn't even get to. Oh, no, he's gonna get out. No, he's not. Got another free gold item there. That's nice. Uh, clarity that... Defense here. Eruption is kind of nice, but it's not really, not really us right now, right? Uh, void portal would be kind of cool. Light concoction would actually be really good right now too, though. Uh, soul cannon. We don't really have the clarity to utilize Soul Cannon all that well. Uh, man, is it going to send us through another loop? Uh, that's Buns. Man, and we don't want that either. That was a huge waste. <laughs> but, oh well. Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, let's take the defense there. Uh, can we just kill you? Nice. Okay, so if you can kill one of those enemies, you can just attack straight through his special attack. But make sure you do your math, because if you do it wrong, he's probably going to kill you. We are very strong right now. Despite not having many items, we are strong. Five more defense off that. Got 50 attack, 30... Frick, or 50 defense, 30 attack. It's pretty solid. We could just keep attacking him until he killed himself. Ah, oh, so close to this gold chest. Um, 
I don't think we have another, um, what's it called in the, uh, I don't think we have another potion in the room, so I'm not going to take that. Uh, we'll take power gloves now. Uh, we can't take a pairing, pairing shield, but we'll just continue on through here. Getting close to the end. I don't really know which, uh, which path we want to take yet. Take attack there. I'm going to pass through him. Take some HP. What's really nice about having this super, super high defense is we can just attack everything. Wow. Just cleared the room by getting hit. Oh, come on. Give us a light concoction. Yes. Oh, we really want channeling kilt, too. Channeling kilt may be even better. Hmm. But light concoction is going to be so much fun. Deals light damage to all creatures. Deals light damage to all creatures. And it's such a synergy. We really do want channeling kill as well. Never mind. And we want ascension. Dang it. <laughs> uh, we're going to get channeling kill first. Um, ravaged. Reprieve. Uh, our, we have a really fun build right now, so we're not going to take the Transcendence. Um, I think we might take the Shrine of Sacrifice, actually. Do we gain anything from it? We could get a necklace, right? We get, a we get that Choker, which gives us plus one attack if we stand still and attack. Um, mm, I guess that could be good, right? Do we need it, though? I, I, maybe we'll just go to Ravage, see what we get from Ravaged. I don't know why I always do this. No, we can't take Tasty Beans. Actually, we don't even want anything, right? There's no blues that we want. Insatiable. No whites that we want. Yeah, okay. That's kind of a waste, but I guess we could have gotten, like, a purple or something. We pretty much have the build that we need to go into the final fight here. Alright, 50 HP. 52 defense. 38 attack. This is nuts. There's that room. Explosive we're going to take because we're actually going to take one of these gold chests to see if we can find Ascension. Oh, man. The Crow is really tempting, too, but I want to I want to stay true to this high defense build. Ah, uh, come on. One more. Give us Ascension. Yes. Sweet. We're definitely going to take that. Um, And I don't think we want Dark Pact. Actually, Dark Pact give us, gives us even more damage, doesn't it? Two light damage here, or we go from 48 plus 5, so 53. So 48 is a multiple of 4, right? So we get plus one more damage from that. And just straight up 6 HP, right? Um... Is this, what is this? That's just straight up attack. I think we want it this, you know what? I think we're gonna stick with that because I think we want just the, the room clearing capabilities. Final form would be cool if we decided to go with the uh, owl. I basically just attacked that thing to see if it would hit me and if it didn't, the other uh, enemy still pushed its way forward. Very nice. We're healing most of this poison back because of our um, living helmet there. Nope. Not going to steal any more souls, sir. Sorry. All right. So 
if you can't tell, between the light concoction, which is activating off of our living helmet, and this light collar, which is activating every time we get hit, we are just decimating all of these enemies. Um, I mean, I want the final form for the final fight, I think, anyways. Yeah, we're just going to head in. Uh, I think we're going to attack the owl this time. We have a lot of area damage. <clears throat> area damage. Um... So I think it's, I don't know, just makes sense, right? Makes sense. We'll take a little bit of poison here so we proc our light collar a bunch. And so it gives us an opportunity to use up our uh, living helmet. We can attack here. Oh. Um, we can continue to attack. He's close, so we're gonna move away. Heal up, which is a massive da like just nuke on everything. Look at all those souls we got now. We're gonna uh, take care of this bead. We can actually attack him head on, but that's not really wise right now. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use. Uh, our plague on him. Actually, and now since we have such high stats, we're going to attack through him twice. Ow. Because we want to hit him with another... Uh... Actually, that was perfectly played. Can't take the shield. Um, We don't really have excess killing damage. Yeah, I don't think there's going to really be anything else that we want. Nope, we like our light collar. Yeah, we're just gonna exit out of this. Nope. Cool, cool. All right, so he's still got the poison on him. Um, does he actually only do eight damage? Because the last time I was trying this challenge, I attacked him and he did way more. No, because we kill him. Yeah, he only does eight damage. All right, cool. That's gonna blow up everything over here. Nice. We're just doing so much damage by not having max HP, but just enough. I mean, look at our look at our light collars doing, in this case, just as much damage as our normal attack. I mean, that's why that's part of what makes uh, light damage so strong is that it's just unmitigated raw damage. I'm going to move this way so he uses his special attack on those two. And then we can attack his pillars here. We're going to attack these poison enemies so that we have the opportunity to poison ourselves up a bit. Very nice. Okay, we will keep moving through here. Gives us all the turns we need. Whoops, I did not mean to get hit by this, but it's actually totally fine. We're going to take that 20 damage. We're going to heal all of it up. Uh... I actually don't want to take this damage, but it's kind of whatever. Yeah, we're we're slapping right now. Very nice. That last attack was a 31 normal attack plus 14 light damage plus 5 poison. I mean, that's a massive stack of damage. Especially for not having a shield or a sword. I mean, that was just... That was wild. We could kill everything in the room by getting hurt. <laughs> by getting hurt and hurting other things. All right. And that will finish it up. So that was our bare-handed, bare-knuckle brawl build. Um, no sword, no shield. Definitely, uh, you know, quite a bit that we were missing out on there, but we still ended up with 50-plus stats. And, uh, and as you saw, we were just, we were unstoppable. So, um, if you did like, please leave a comment, uh, leave a like and definitely subscribe. I try to reply to all the comments. So, uh, you know, you can definitely get, 
get some sort of response. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching.